So guys, I put this little $30 boat in the water and it was pretty darn good for a swimming pool. It didn't have enough speed to get up on a plane, but it turned really good. So, um, time to modify this thing. Got a Traxxas XL5 ESC. Simple, easy. Got an old Hobby King servo. Hopefully it still works. And a Helios 2000 milliamp 2S. This thing only runs on like a 1S battery. So this should have twice as much of everything, at least until the motor burns up, right? Anyways, we're about to get started on this, so take a look. So the first things first, let's get this thing opened up. I love this feature right here. Ah, you get to everything. You don't have to unscrew anything or any of that. So at least not until you're about to do what I'm about to do. So, yeah. You gotta tear all this out right here. Now hopefully I can get that servo underneath, maybe, and then put a horn on it and just turn this directly on the horn. As far as the rest of it goes, uh, that's just simple, easy electronics and some soldering. So not an issue at all there. And that's it. Simple and easy. Nothing else has to come out. I'm not going to pull the motor. It's just now I got to add a... Uh, connector onto here that can work with this change this out to a Dean's and then I'll have the ESC and everything um, let's go ahead and take a look at servo hmm that's not good let's see what else I can do okay guys so long as this servo works I've got the little Traxxas 2065 I believe it works. I mean, I'll have to check it. If that works, all I've got to do is basically glue this thing into position about like that and then put a bolt right down into there. Pretty darn simple. And then the servo turns and the rudder turns. And it looks like if I really, really wanted to get crazy with it, I could really make the same turn. But I'm not too worried about insane turning. I think I'm going to have to glue this into place and just kind of let it sit overnight, in all honesty. Before I glue this into place, I don't want to have to be moving it around with that glue setting up. I've got to change these connectors out. And, well, I'll have to see what I can do, but probably going to be a big old 4 millimeter motor connector. I mean, ugh, a little bit large, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey guys, check this out. I've got this thing set up here. The future steering servo works. And watch this. I wish I would have done this with the 1S on it. Just so you guys could get a sound. But it was something like this. Hold on. I think it was something like that. This is what it sounds like now. This thing hopefully will get up on a plane. So I'm gonna disconnect all this stuff and watch out for that prop. Even though it's plastic, that thing will still get you. So now I've got to get this thing over and start gluing stuff in place. And at this point, we just let it sit. Got the ESC glued in place. It's all nice and wet. The steering servo is actually glued, wedged, and taped in place, at least until the glue dries. So then I can get the receiver out of there and set that somewhere. The battery, I'm just simply going to wedge it. It wedges kind of tight between these two posts. This is not going to be a violent vehicle, so it should be just fine. Well, guys, it does have a little bit more weight to it, but there it is. Hopefully it won't sink. Ooh, got water on top of it. Let's see. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, it's not getting on top, not making it.
I mean, it's close. Oh, that motor don't like this or something. Something's not happy in there. Oh, so close. Something is not happy in there though. All right, well, it still turns good. You can hear the motor messing around, so. Now let's try it without the top. Almost. Ah, it's just not happy though. I mean, it's a lot better. That's for sure. I wonder if it has something to do with that tunnel where the prop is, kind of making it just not happy. And at like normal speed, it's fine. Ah! Oh. It almost looks like it's got an issue with that tunnel. Uh, well, I wonder if I should come back with a 3S and see if it can really take some juice. Because it, the ESC is good for it. <laughs> okay, I put the battery up front. Nope. That didn't work. Yeah, I guess I gotta go get a 3S. Oh well. Back on the table, just to give you guys a difference of RPM here. Uh, that's 2S. And that was 3S. Well, 3S. If this don't do it, I don't know what will. <laughs> Ah, oh, really? That's not even getting it. And now I've lost throttle. I guess I've burned up the motor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? I've got steering, but nothing. Now I've got to go get it. I'll find me a stick. Or just let the wind blow it somewhere. There it sits. <laughs> That's where it started. The wind is blowing it over to this corner, so it doesn't look like it's going to sink. So that's a good thing. It's just simply going to, well, I'll wait till it beaches. <laughs> oh, jeez. I could just wait till it goes to, sure. Ah, gotcha, you little burnt up dude. Oh well, to the table we go. Well guys, I tried. I really tried, but this little motor just did not like that at all. Now, it was kind of fluttering a little bit on 2S. It wasn't really happy on 2S at all. You have to remember, this thing was literally running on uh, 4 volts. So 1S is all it had from the factory, so... And I'm sure the motor would have been just fine on, on 1S. But 3S, it did not like it at all. I don't even think it ever even got up close to RPM before it just kind of went to junk. Luckily, I had some wind. I just got to sit back and, you know, let it blow on over. Sat on, they have little benches around there, so I just sat on those and just watched it blow right on over. So, there we go. And it didn't sink either, so that was a good thing. Good thing. There's no flotation in that, in that at all. It absolutely would go down, along with the most valuable part of the whole thing, which would be my battery. 
Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you liked the video. I'm, a, I'm thinking about specking this motor out and see if I can find some, maybe a better quality one. If I can find one and actually maybe make it take 3S, would you guys want to see me try it again? It's small. It's fun. Anyway, guys, check that description. Uh, I'll, I'll try to find links for boats and stuff like I did with the previous video on this. And, uh, well, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.